here at Blink Show TV, Chris and I really appreciate your uh, your participation and the fact that you have decided to uh, work alongside of us to help build this wonderful platform we call Blink Show TV and Music Publishing. So today I want to go over just a few things for you guys. Um, once again, I want to thank, and, and guys, I can't tell you guys how important it is for you to um, continuously are out there reaching out to the people and then the individuals think I love there you go put that uh the individuals and other business owners out there to ensure that we build relationships um and again thanks again for Madeline for uh, riding with me with another appointment that we had set and we're building a relationship with um with the individuals at Devin Moore and his production team over at Blue Martini guys continue to network and reach out to these people even if they're managers or businesses that also earns you commission when there's dollars or potential dollars trans, um, trans, uh, trans exchange. Yeah, it's the word I'm looking for. Potential exchange and um, uh, future exchanges in the as well. So one real important uh, note. So we're going to talk about how to read your commission forms. But before I get right into that. This industry is challenging, I understand, and I'm never gonna ask you guys to do something that uh, I have not done or I'm not encouraging you to do or I'm planning to do in the future. One thing I did, I spent um, about an hour and a half because I had to break it up in two segments because I had to have those appointments to attend. But when you guys are out there speaking with your prospects and, and the people that's interested in you know working with us and doing some music and getting some packages done, you know, these dollar amounts are super cheap, and I, I want to express that to you. They are very low, and it's continuing to rise as we continue to build these relationships. But one thing I want you to do for yourself, I want you and your family to sit down, you, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever the case is, I want you guys to sit down, and I want you, to guys, I want you guys to turn on Netflix, and I want you to watch the Travis Scott story. I never even really cared who Travis Scott was. I liked just some of his music, but that particular style I'm not too uh, fond of. However, I'm a fan of greatness. I'm a fan of hard work, uh, uh, perseverance, and consistency. And I want you guys to really watch uh, the Travis Scott documentary because when you have these people complaining to you about this low minimum fee that we're charging them just to get what all he did was leverage media and have a great, great energy and a presence and, and something in his heart that he wanted to do at the end of the day. He wanted, and you will hear it in his message, he wanted to leave a footprint on the earth and that's exactly what he is doing because he's not done, he's super young and he has a great, great, great message. So I want you guys to really look at that documentary and I want you to look at all the important vital keys and the components. I want you to see where he came from and, and the struggle and the process and how much time and money was spent to do it. So when these people are complaining to you guys about $400, $500, 300, 3,000, 2,000, 5,000, when they're complaining to you and they don't see the, 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 the amount of energy it takes and how much of a struggle it is when you're coming from poverty and then you get to stardom, it is not something that's gonna happen overnight. And they need to realize that. So their little resources that they have is not going to get them in the areas that they need to go or be in to get the type of level of success that they're looking for. Media is the key. We have media. Media is the key. It is the single driven force that allows anyone to achieve their level of success. Media. And we have it. So you guys need to own it, take it, put it in your hearts and put it in your pockets so you will know that when you're talking to someone, you have access to the media that they're looking for. And it's gonna be something that they're gonna have to do time and time and time again. It's not gonna be a one-time thing. This is gonna be something that they're gonna have to consistently do and they're gonna spend a lot of money. Just know that right now. There's no easy way out. There's no no cheap way out. It, you know, going viral is one thing. People go viral and nothing ever comes of it. So they can't depend on going viral. They can't depend on someone sharing their work because if you're living in a society or an environment where you're another crab in a bucket and if you see someone getting a little success, you know good and well that they're gonna pull their asses right back down and then where are you? And that's the mentality. But see, media, video coverage, 
expands all of those ideas. And it takes you from being in one demographic to an entirely different demographic. It takes you from being in one community into an entirely different community all across this country, even to a different country in freaking the other side of the world. And that's what they're looking for. But they cannot get it But if they don't partake in some form or fashion of media. And that's what you have available to you. So I want you guys, if you guys got uh, got commission sheets or you're looking to have some commission sheets, I want you guys to take those forms out. I want you to take a look at them. And what you're going to see is there's two categories. Well, right at the very top, there's a section where the actual budget uh, for the overall company is at. And then I want you to go a little bit beyond that. And you're going to see two separate categories just below your name and your title. One of the sections you're going to see is the actual events that you um, have. You're going to have a, a section that says earned, uh, earned. And then what you're actually could uh, could have uh, um, earned. And it's just, I forget the other second name of it. It's like actual. I think it's like actual earned and then actual. And then you have two right and left side. But right after earned and actual, there's a category. The category to the left is all of the actual events that we or tools that we um, supply for people. And that's what we get paid off of. So you're going to have three columns in that. And that middle column is what the actual potential earning of that product is. Right. And then when I put in and then to the right of that, you have it says difference. The difference is what you could have maximized out. So if you got a whole if this is 100 percent, so if you did a 499 um, and the other side is going to express a 499, that means you got all of the expected money out of that minus the, uh, the percentage of the commission, whatever level you are, 10, 20 or 30 percent depending on when the event occurred and what it was, right? So that's what that column is. And then on the bottom, there's a total. It's a total of what you earned in that column and a total of what the total potential earning and what the actual product total was. Then you have on the right side, it says there's a specials column, specials event. That specials event goes for things that are not in that section. Things like we did, like reimbursements, parking, um, you know, a drink or something like that that was covered, a booking or a side deal that happened, or maybe you sat in on a conversation and you helped participate in a deal, right? So you earned some, like maybe you got a business to participate in something and you earned some money there. Those numbers are, are going to always be different. And even the numbers to the left are going to be different because what? We customize everything. So if you sell a complete package at its value, that's awesome. Maybe you sold it for a little less and maybe you sold it for a little more. All those numbers will be adjusted. And again, I just want to help you guys understand your right and left columns. And on the bottom of that gives you an equate of what it is. So at the very top, you're going to see what you earned and what you earned on your regular column and your specialties column. Then you take those what you've earned and you put them together. And that's what your pay is. So don't look at the numbers. It's like it'll be like a seven thousand dollar breakout. Right. You don't get the seven thousand. Right. That's not that's what the product actually would have been if so at 100 percent without being minus your commission. So you take that that total, then you minus it out to your commission. Right. And again, on the specialties column, a lot of times those are not going to be broken out into commissions. Sometimes those are just reimbursements. Those are just payments and things like that are full numbers. So those are not going to be in commission uh, breakdowns. All right. So if you guys have any problems and again, commissions are paid tomorrow, I believe the end of every day each month. And we are playing. Looks like we have some bookings for September for our live tapings. Live tapings for everyone are mandatory unless you are working somewhere else. You have another job. And of course, that needs to be shown and explained. Or if you are out of town and you are not available. Other than that, as you guys know, who've attended our live tapings, uh, it is very important to be there so we can all have our crowd participation and we can always have our staff working and running the show for our talent that are booked for that day. All right, guys. Uh, and it is going to be the last week of September. Um, I think we discussed it was the 27th through the 30th or something like that, but we will confirm the actual date for you guys. So just a big heads up. We got a whole month in advance to plan and we're waiting for these deposits to solidify. We already have one deposit, but we're waiting for the second one to come in as well. So, all right, guys, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And once again, Chris and I thank you from the bottom of our heart for being a talent acquisition consultant with us here at Blink Show TV. Love you all, and we'll talk soon.